What happened on June 17th shook South Carolina to her core. One man, filled with hate, shocked the world in an act that demonstrated the very worst of mankind. The Charleston community, and especially Mother Emanuel, felt it soonest and felt it hardest. The rest of us woke up to unimaginable headlines, rubbing our eyes to double-check to make sure we were seeing correctly what was printed in the newspaper and online. We woke up today and the heart and soul of South Carolina was broken. Unsure of how a human being, one of us, could be capable of such an atrocity. That day we woke up not knowing what was next, but knowing we had seen the worst. As the Bible teaches us, in darkness there is light. John 1.5 says, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Usually that light is hard to see. Usually we have a long period of darkness before we see the light. But Charleston is not your usual place. And those at Mother Emanuel are not your usual people. Out of our darkness beamed a shining light from those most overcome by the darkness, from our very own Mother Emanuel, those at the center of this tragedy. In that moment, Mother Emanuel and her followers turned their grief into love. Overcome by death, the church breathed new life into South Carolina. We love our state, we love our country, and most importantly, we love each other. And I will tell you, there's a lot of prayer in this state, and so you are gonna see all of us try and lift these nine families up in prayer because they need us. These nine families need us. The Emmanuel AME Church needs us. The AME Church family needs us. And the people of South Carolina need us to come together and be strong for what has happened. Instead of shutting the community out, they welcomed every person of every race, creed, and religion with open arms. At a time when parishioners around the country were questioning whether church was safe anymore, they showed the world that the church is a place not to fear. And when a community spirit had been crushed, Mother Emmanuel showed the world God's love, grace, and forgiveness personified right here on earth. Surely June 17th is not a day that will be forgotten. But the reason it will be remembered so well is because what happened the next day and the people of Mother Emanuel who held prayer vigils instead of protests, the people who overcame hatred with love, those at Mother Emanuel who showed us that despite what is bad, there is still a lot of good in the world. Those who died that day did not die in vain. Their legacy lives on through their church community, which still beams a light of hope through that dark day.